everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this review. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. And today we're going to be talking about the new Swedish Netflix release, Red Dot. So Red Dot is a thriller that's just been released and it follows the characters of Nadia and David as they are trying to rekindle their relationship. And so they decide to go on a little bit of an adventure, but things very quickly go askew as they realize they are being hunted down and they are in the fight of their lives. You know what, for, to be 100% honest, this film for me is 100% average is the best way I could describe it. Throughout the whole movie, I was, I was looking for things to keep me engaged. I could tell this was a well-made film, but I really found myself unable to really connect with the characters and really relate to them. There was nothing keeping me in the story and making me want to go, Awesome. I want to see these two characters survive this attack. I want to see these two characters thrive in the wilderness. I want to see these two characters come out on top. I never once felt that way the entire time I was watching this movie. And I think that's the biggest issue with this film. It's the two lead characters. The performances are great across the board, in my opinion. I think all performances throughout the movie are really handled well and all the performers give fantastic performances. But the characters themselves, they are lackluster. From the very beginning of the movie, we realize these are incredibly, incredibly flawed characters. And you can tell great stories with flawed characters, but I don't want these characters to continuously be flawed in everything they do. I never once feel like these characters ever redeem themselves for the flaws they've committed, for the sins they've committed. And so why am I dedicating an hour and a half of my life to engaging with these characters when I don't feel like they deserve to be redeemed. And I'll say that in particular for the, for the male character, David. He is what I would call a very weak character, to be 100% honest. He ne never feels like he's giving up his best. It always feels like he's just giving up. He's, he's slacking on his responsibilities. He's not defending the people he should be defending. He's not doing what's right. I didn't like this character at all. The opening sequence where he proposes to her is incredibly sweet. And for the opening sequence, I do actually like David and Nadia. But from that point on, there's nothing likable, in my opinion, about these characters. Nadia, who I was pleasantly surprised by, is by far the stronger character in this pair. And I do enjoy that. I enjoyed that take. And I thought it was, it was nice to see that the damsel in distress was actually the guy for once. But Flip, she just wasn't particularly likable either. Because even though she knew what was right, she never pushed forward with it. She always doubted herself, even when she knew what she had to do would be the right thing. So we're stuck with two characters that ultimately never do the right thing. And somehow I've got to try and support them. So to be 100% honest, the weakest aspect of the film were the two leads, in my opinion. The rest of the film was just so much better. The cinematography was awesome. The locations were amazing. The set design was fantastic. Everything that helped create a chilling, cool, suspenseful atmosphere was handled with such professionalism. And that was what I really enjoyed most about this film. We're in this incredibly unique location, which is slowly becoming the new norm for horror and suspense films. Because back in the day, in the early 2000s, everything was just set in a forest or the woods. But slowly but surely, everything's starting to seep more into, let's do it in the snowy Alps where no one can see anyone and it's just you in the snow. And quite a few horror movies are going that route nowadays. But it is such a pretty beautiful location. I'm not even nearly upset about it. I mentioned earlier how much I enjoyed the cinematography. I just thought it was great. There was shaky cam when they needed there to be shaky cam, but it wasn't overdone to the fact that you can't actually see what's happening on screen. It's just enough that you can feel what the characters are supposed to be feeling. And they've got some absolutely beautiful, stunning shots just showing off the awesome scenery. My favorite sequence in the whole movie was actually probably the sequence where David and Nadia are spending their first nights out in the wild. And it's just them holding a camera, taking selfies. But it's just this beautiful shot that's incredibly intimate. And if we just had more of those moments where Nadia and David actually just care about each other, I feel like the whole movie would have
been much more enjoyable to watch. If these characters had more positive qualities, like what that scene was showing, then the whole movie would have been so much more enjoyable for a viewer's point of view. In regards to suspense, after all, this is a very suspenseful film. I feel like they could have worked better with the more thriller elements. These are two people outside in the wild in a location they've got no experience in being hunted down. That is something you can make incredibly, incredibly scary. And I feel like they didn't lean into that enough. It was definitely entertaining and, and I can feel that the characters were scared. But I never once felt scared myself. And maybe that also had something to do with my detachments to the primary characters because, again, I really didn't vibe with their personalities. But I also feel like they really could have leaned more into the unknown with this movie. They could have really leaned more into, like, really pumping up the, the score in this film. So, guys, that's just my review on Red Dot. For me, it is just a completely average movie. There was nothing that really stood out to me about this film, but at the same time, I will admit, it's not actually a badly made film. It's a well-made film that unfortunately suffers from having lackluster and unengaging lead characters. But guys, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you know. But guys, thank you so much for watching my review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought about this movie. I would love to know what you guys think. Please subscribe, and I hope to see you again in another video.